Hey folks, Keith with 92 Lumber, coming back at you with a channel update. Not a beer. Well, kind of a beer. Beers. Um, as some of you may know, if you follow the Instagram uh, account or, or my personal account, Instagram account, <clears throat> uh, Katie and I went away for the last 10 days-ish, I think. We got back last night. Uh, we left last Tuesday. We went to the Isle of Man. We stayed there for about a week. Then we went to London for two nights and then we came home. Um, and yeah. So the biggest part of this video will be showing what I brought back and uh, I have some beers, I have some other things, and whatever. But I wanted to say a couple things before I get into these. Um, first of all, if you don't know, the, if you're not familiar with the Isle of Man, which a lot of people don't seem to be, but as soon as you bring up the TT races, people seem to know what that is. So if if you know what the TT race is, um, that Isle of Man is where it is. The Audi TT is named after the TT races, by the way, fun fact. Um, but uh, it's in the, I think that's the, the Irish Sea. I think that's what that is <clears throat> right there. It's uh, between Ireland and England and Scotland is north of there. Um, but uh, yeah, oh, so a couple things. First thing, Katie and I were planning on doing a video before we left. We did not have the time. We were going to do a video of, uh, it's like a top, it's like a, I don't know how many there are. There, it's like five or 10. We're going to do a top five, 10 ish list, a top, a top list of, of videos that we reviewed together. Um, I think I might've said that in my top 10 ish video that we were planning on doing that and that none of the vi none of the beers we reviewed together were on my list that uh, that i uh did a video for um so we're planning so we're still planning on doing that but it's just coming a little later oh i just i just reviewed this beer and it's giving me all sorts of <clears throat> problems um and then with that video, we were going to be like, yay, we're going on vacation because it, it, it just worked out that way because we had a free place to stay for basically the entire time. Um, and we got pretty good deal on uh, plane tickets, which turned out not to be the case, but that's a other story. But yeah, we had a really good time. It was awesome. Uh, basically every place we went had Cascale, which is awesome. Uh, specifically on the Isle of Man. <clears throat> not, not quite sure about London because we were in London for two nights, but basically like a day and a half. Um, but, uh, one of the, one of the pubs we went to, which was walking distance from where we were staying, um, they had three cascales. Uh, one was like 3.7%, one was 3.8% and one was 5%. And the first night we went there, uh, I 
I forget exactly what the exchange was, but basically the bartender was like, that is a strong beer. And I was trying to explain to her that 5% beers, or I should say I was specifically talking about the one beer, which was uh, Canine's Golden Ale, which uh, we had their, we had their black lager, I think it was. Black lager. It was a black lager. I don't know if it was a Czech lager. I don't know. It, we had that a different night, but that beer was awesome. But they had their golden ale. And it was 5%. And I was trying to explain that 5% beers are not considered strong beers in the States. It, 5% is considered a session beer. And she was like, that was, that's crazy or whatever. But uh, anyway, I'm not the best storyteller, so bear with me. Um, and now I went down a hole and now I don't remember where it was. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, so basically I, I think there were two, I think there might've been two beers that I drank that were above 5%. Um, and yeah. Maybe I was trying to explain why this beer is hooked me up so much. <clears throat> it's a hazy IPA. 7%. Um, yeah, one of the beers I had that... I think it was the first beer I had when I got on the Isle of Man, which was a... It was a Trappist Ale from the UK, and it was 7.4. It was really good really good but uh it was in a bottle <clears throat> it wasn't on draft or anything um but anyway so i'm just gonna go to the next thing so heads up there are no reviews from our trip we did not do any reviews on our trip a couple of the things i brought back were bought to do reviews of while we were there but one morning i got up early i set an alarm because i wanted to do a time lapse video of the uh sunrise because it's an island it's it's an island it's uh i think 22 miles long and 14 miles wide at its at its widest um there are no major highways or anything. Everything, it's basically, every road is a really narrow road. Um, but they don't have like huge tractor trailers or trucks or anything like that. All the cars there are relatively whatever. Also fun fact, like, mm, cause the, the, the capital of the Isle of Man is Douglas, so it's more, it's, but it's not a city per se. It's like a big town. It's kind of weird. Like there are no cities there. It's, it's, it's all very like kind of small, but Douglas is like the biggest place. Um, and I know I saw a few in Douglas and I saw a couple outside of Douglas, but like, I would say probably like 90% of the vehicles on the island are manual and I'm pretty sure manual is like a huge thing over there. Like even on like, even in England and, and on the mainlands and stuff like that. But still it was kind of, kind of cool to see cause I've basically had, I've basically driven manual since I've been driving. So it was, it was kind of a fun thing. But that's just a fun fact. Fun fact. Um, <clears throat> ugh. I have, uh, I think I have created a little wider gap between me and 
hazy IPAs after this trip. But anyway. So Katie and I were going to do a top thingy and we were going to mention that we were going on this trip and stuff like that. But instead, we just ended up I think she told a couple of her friends, but basically I didn't tell anybody that we were going. Um, so, yeah. So anyway, this video is already 40 minutes long. Uh, I'm going to get into the beers. I, I might. It's like 1030 right now at night, um, which is weird because the time there is five hours ahead. So it's like 3 30 a.m there and i didn't think that i i would uh acclimate to the time change as this quickly so i don't know if i'm just like more exhausted than than i feel like i am which i probably which i probably think is the case because i've been a little bit uh grumpy and stuff today so um because we, we got in last night, we went to bed um, I don't know what time we went to bed last night. Yesterday was kind of a blur. But uh, we got up like at 8.30 this morning. And so I've been up since 8.30. So that's 14 hours and, and whatever. So I'm probably more exhausted than I'm even that I'm even uh, registering right now. So I apologize for that. Um, but I was gonna say, I, I was thinking I might review one or two of these beers tonight, but I'm probably not going to, because by the time I get done with this, I'm probably just gonna get changed and go to bed. But, uh, but yeah, so let me show you some of the things that I got. <clears throat> So this is one of the beers that I was planning on that I got to review there. And we actually had this in the Gatwick airport in London uh, on our way there. But um, this is Camden Town Brewery. It is their pale ale. It is 4%. Um, I also thought this was really funny. That little thing right there. I will read it to you. Uh, we love our American cousins, but sometimes they can be kind of full on. So we've craft crafted this beer to, to more British tastes. Made with American hops, it's still got all the punch of a pale ale, just less shouty. I thought that was hilarious um but yeah i'll read i'll read more of the can when i review it or when we review it i don't know uh what we're gonna do so another thing is if you follow the instagram account i posted a uh i posted a photo i don't think it was a story i posted a photo of we were in the airport on the isle of man getting ready to leave and I got an Ockels beer. It was 1907. It was, I believe it was an IPA. I don't, I have it on my phone. Actually, I brought the bottle back, but it's, I don't have it in here. So <clears throat> it's called 1907. They, they brewed it as a like, uh, tribute or whatever. If there's a word that I'm not remembering or something, or I'm just thinking that tribute is the wrong word when it's the right word, but whatever. Uh, they brewed it for the anniversary of, or not the anniversary, just like the tribute to the Taurus Trophy race, which is the TT race, which was started in 1907. Um, and I was like, this is the last Ockels beer that I'm going to have because Ockels was one of the, the breweries that basically all their beer was on on draft. It was in bottles a couple places, but it was mostly on draft. It was a lot of the Cascale that I drank. And I was like, oh, this is the last one. And then I went into the little old duty free shop and 
I got, I brought back a couple bottles. This is the, this is one of them. Uh, I did have this one on cask. It is their MPA, which is a Man Manx Pale Ale. It's 3.6%. Uh, Ockel's MPA is a light gold colored beer with aromas of tropical fruit, initially sweet fruit flavors, leading to an intense dry hop finish. Um, so yeah, the other one I got was, is their IPA, which I have not had. It is 4.5% alcohol by volume. There, there's a little bit of a, of a trend here. Uh, Oakle's IPA is an extremely light colored beer with a surprising full body taste. The sweetness is offset by a very strong hopping, hopping rating, hop, uh, a very strong hopping rate that gives the finished beer an overall roundness with very spicy lemony notes and a fine dry finish to counteract the initial sweetness. Um, also, I don't know if you noticed, but, but there's a, there's a brood to Manx purity laws since 1874. Um, I looked up the Manx purity laws because I was curious about them. Apparently when, when they first initially passed the purity laws, they weren't allowed to make lagers, wheat beers, and fruit beers. And, uh, and I think there's, then they made an amendment that allowed them to brew those things. And I still think they're not allowed to put lactose in beer, which is awesome. This is the, I'm gonna, this is the place where I want to go forever. Um, and then this is the one beer that I wanted to go. It's the other beer that I bought that we were planning on reviewing while we were there. This is Timothy Taylor's Landlord, the classic pale ale, 4.1% alcohol by volume. But yeah. So I got it and these all made it back. So I'm happy about that. So look out for some of these. I might do the two Ockels side by side because one's, one's called a Manx Pale Ale and one's an India Pale Ale. Um, so I might do those side by side. Maybe not, I don't know. This setup isn't really good for side by sides. I feel like it's always awkward, but whatever, all my videos are awkward. So the next thing <clears throat> is when, also when we were in the airport in the Isle of Man, uh, on our way out, uh, I went into the like little duty free shop and the, and there was this right when right when i walked in on the on the side there was this big bottle of rum that was infused with coffee and i was like i am getting that but then i found this little thing that had that and two other ones so this is far shore merchants which i looked it up and i'm not they just they like partner with people and companies to like produce certain things but uh yeah I don't, I don't i'm not exactly sure what they do other than just they partner with people and then release stuff that they produced with that partner so this was produced on the isle of man by the cornish distilling company for far shore merchants so we got three different rums here we have a spiced rum we have a dark rum infused with cold pressed coffee. And we have, or the spice rum is infused with rare exotic spices and the white rum distilled from premium molasses, which I think that's what rub is. So <clears throat> I'm not gonna take them all out cause this is liquor. I was thinking these might make an appearance on the channel. 
Maybe I'll do a little like side by side little tasting thing. Cause for funsies. But I don't know. So this last one. This last one is something that I wanted to buy the whole trip because our 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 flight from New York to or I should say our flight from the States to England because we had to take another flight from from or London to to uh, the Isle of Man. Um, we had a connecting flight in Reykjavik. I think I said that right. I don't know. And so we had like an hour there ish. And at that time it was like their time it was like 6 a.m. But our time it was like I don't I don't I don't even know. But uh anyway. So. Uh I saw this there and I was like, I am getting that on the way back because our return flight was also had a connecting flight there or transfer or whatever you call it. So this is a single malt whiskey. It's an Icelandic single malt whiskey. Uh, this is from the Eimverk distillery. I think I'm pronouncing that right. I looked it up before that and that's how they were pronouncing it. So I assuming that that is how you pronounce it, but maybe the thing that I saw was wrong. So if you're Icelandic and, or just know how to pronounce Icelandic words, you can, you can uh, correct me down in the comments. But this it were or Einberg Distillery, I believe, they're Iceland's first first whiskey distillery, and I think they are still the only distillery in Iceland. I could be wrong about that last part because I don't know how up to date the thing that I read was. But this is their Floki which is an Icelandic single malt whiskey. It is smoked, but they smoke it by burning sheep dung, which I don't know if that's vegan, but who cares? So this sounds awesome. They had two different varieties there. I got this one cause it seemed a little more fancy. Um, Floki single malt whiskey. I'm gonna I'm gonna read a little bit more of this stuff because I don't I don't know if I'm gonna review this. I might do like a little video or something about it, but yeah. But I'm gonna read this because this is sounds cool. And in case I don't do a video, I want y'all to know about it. Um. Floki single malt whiskey, sheep dung smoked reserve is handcrafted from 100% Icelandic barley smoked using traditional Icelandic methods passed down for generations. This limited reserve of Floki is a single barrel bottling aged three years in ex Floki young malt casks distilled from Icelandic barley three years old. So I think the other one the other one was also, they called it a reserve. Um, I believe the other one was also sheep dung smoked, but the other one was, I believe the difference is this was aged in previously used, previous uh, barrels that previously aged or aged other whiskey previously. And the other one was aged in new wood oak barrels. I think that was the difference. I don't know. Who knows? But yeah, I think that's everything I wanted to say. Um, I did get a new, I 
Katie was, I basically spent all my, all the money I had on bills before I left. And then I spent the rest of my money while we were on the trip. So Katie was nice enough to lend me some money and I bought a new tripod and, uh, I had to buy a new phone mount thing. So I'm going to test it out a little bit. Uh, this tripod seems a bit wonky, but it was expensive and I feel like I could probably get something cheaper that would be just as good but I got it because it folds up like really small <clears throat> so <clears throat> oh god I need to go to sleep like I don't know what it is about flying like when we when we flew there we left here our flight was at 7 30 we left here at 7.30, we flew to Reykjavik. Then we were there for an hour and we flew to London, Heathrow. And then when we got to Heathrow, we had to wait a little bit to get the shuttle to Gatwick because you can only get, because the only planes that are going to and from the Isle of Man fly out of Gatwick. I'm not sure why that is, because uh, my family went to the Isle of Man when I was in sixth grade, so around 11 years old. Um, and we, we flew to Manchester and flew to the Isle of Man from Manchester. So I'm not exactly sure what changed or why they don't do flights out of anywhere else right now. But um, or I think, or at least in England, I think. I think England, Gatwick is the only way. Cause I, th I think there was something about going from like Edinburgh or Edinburgh, however you pronounce it. I'm exhausted. I'm uh, now that I've been doing this video for a little bit, I have now realized my mistake and that I am way more exhausted than I thought it was. Um, but yeah, going there was a long day because it was all in one. We were awake ish. I think I think we both like slept for like two or three hours total between the whole thing. But yeah, we were basically awake for 25 hours because yeah, left the States, Iceland, London, shuttled to Gatwick, um, there for a little bit, flight to the Isle of Man. And then when we got, we ended up getting to the Isle of Man at, I don't know what time it was over there. It was Wednesday night though. So we left here Tuesday night and got there Wednesday night. And there was a five hour difference. So the trip was I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm tired now. I am exhausted. Also, this is the highest ABV beer I've had in a little bit, so. I think it might be knocking me on my ass. Um, so yeah, look out for videos for these. The beers I will be reviewing, possibly with Katie, some of them, or all of them. Uh, and then I might do, I might do, I might, uh, I might mess around with some liquor, liquor reviews or just like little thingies. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go to sleep now. I think, I think I said everything I wanted to say. Oh, I was, I was talking about the tripod and the, the foam mount. The foam mount is cool. So I'm definitely going to keep that. This 
uh tripod i'm it's really weird like it's not level when you just put it out so I'd, but it's got a little thing so that you can level it up there but like it just looks weird because it's like slanted on the bottom but it's straight up and down over here i don't know it's fucking stupid but uh but yeah so hope you enjoyed this video uh, I hope you enjoyed it as much as, as I did recording it. I have to go feed the cats now. But I hope you are all well and taking care of each other and taking care of yourselves. You can uh, like this video and stuff. Subscribe to the channel. That's the other thing I was going to say. Um... Since about September or October, around there, right now, I haven't posted any videos in two weeks-ish, and I have gained two subscribers in that time. But I have only netted three subscribers since September, October. Um, I have had a lot of, uh, subscribe and unsubscribes in the last six months, five months, whatever, whatever it is, four months, October, November, December, January. Yeah. Four months, four or five months. So. Subscribe to the channel. Go tell your friends. I am tired. I wish I had done this sooner. Earlier. But we were planning on cleaning up and stuff. And then Katie fell asleep. So. And I did a couple things. And I was setting up to do this. Because it was a mess in here. Because before we left, we just threw all the shit that we didn't clean up into here. So I cleaned this back up. And whatever. But anyway, you don't care. Get some sleep. We love you.